This video is a review and a guide to the Seiko TMI NH34 movement, which is also otherwise known as the 4R34 movement. The NH34 is part of the NH or 4R family of Seiko. What NH and 4R means, we will get into that in a minute. And they basically share the fundamental design with different applications built into them. The NH34, for example, shares the same basic construction with the better known NH35 and the NH36 movements, movements that you very commonly find in Seiko 5 watches. So what's different about this movement? Well, it's a GMT movement, and the differences on the movements are almost exclusively to be seen on the dial side of the movement. The most obvious feature is that there is another wheel added or stacked on top of the hour tube and cannon pinion for the GMT hand. And instead of three, now there are four attachments for hands going through the dial. This new wheel turns at half the speed as the one for the hour hand, making the hand turn once in 24 hours. What's also to be said here is that this movement does not have an option for a day of the week display. And that's because the wheels for adjusting the GMT function, so the 24 hour hand, are in the way of where normally the weekday disc and mechanism would be. In terms of the outer dimension, the only difference are a slightly increased height of the movement, which is because of the additional hand. And although that does not mean that the body of the movement itself builds higher, or in other words is thicker, it just means that the tube for the hands reach out further into the space between the dial and the crystal. And that's why the movement is technically higher than the NH35 and 36. And as a side note for everyone who wants to build their own watch with a NH34, the hole in the dial also needs to be bigger in order to fit another hand. This is something to consider if you want to build your own watch or modify your own watch. And if you generally want to know more about the base movement, that's the NH35 and 36, I made a video covering these movements in depth some time ago, and I have them linked down below. So what's the GMT function and how to use it? The GMT function allows you to track at least another time zone simultaneously. The additional hour hand allows you to jump from time zone to time zone without changing the home time from the main three hands. And in order to change the time on the second hour hand, you pull out the crown to the first position and advance the 24 hour hand counterclockwise. In case of the NH34, the 24 hour hand jumps in sync with the normal hour hand to keep the correct distance between hours. And depending on the watch and if that watch has a turnable GMT bezel, you could also just turn the bezel. If you don't have a reason to track a second time zone, you can also use the second hour hand as a 24 hour display. Just sync it with the normal hour hand and uh, you basically have a 24 hour indication. That's essentially what the Rolex Explorer 2 does. And uh, that's why the Rolex Explorer 2 has a fixed bezel. But obviously you can also use this with a rotating bezel. How accurate is it? Well, the movement is adjusted by Seiko to plus 45 to minus 35 seconds. That's actually just what they are guaranteed to. And in my experience, these movements usually can perform much, much better than that. If they have been run in for one or two months, and if you get an idea of what your own wearing habits are, if the watch continuously runs a couple of seconds too fast or a couple of seconds too slow every day, you can adjust for that and you can achieve some pretty remarkable results. You can take a look here on the time grapher, and that's an NH34, basically fresh out of the box without that I have done anything to it. And I think the performance is it's pretty good for a movement that's in most cases not even 50 bucks. So the question is, what is it now? An NH34 or a 4R34? The naming of the movements has essentially to do with their case of use. The 4R designation, as in this case the 4R34, are used to make Seiko's own watches. So Seiko uses these type of movements in their own watches and uh, that appears to be a separate production line and those movements are designated 4R34 movements. With those movements watches are built that are sold under the Seiko logo. The NH34 movements are sold to third parties 
so basically as a wholesale operation and uh, they are intended for watches sold outside of Seiko under different names of third parties. So if you have a watch company, you can go to Seiko or, or to TMI and say, well, I want to buy this type of movement and you would get the movements that are designated the NH34. Another interesting thing is the origin of the movements. The 4R variants are made exclusively in Japan, while the NH variants can be made in Japan, Malaysia, and apparently also in other countries. They, I think, apparently are also made in Hong Kong. There also seem to be unbranded versions going around, and I would think that that would be one of the Hong Kong movements. I'm, however, not 100% clear on how all of that works, and if you know more about how this actually works, absolutely feel free to comment and educate me and everyone else here. So the crown positions on this movement are if the crown is fully in and you turn clockwise you can manually wind the movement. This is something that was not previously possible with the 7S26 or the 7S series of movements and counterclockwise you're running free, that's where the clutch disengages and basically nothing happens. If you pull the crown out to the first stop and turn it clockwise, it sets the GMT hand. If you turn the crown in the first position counterclockwise, it sets the date as a quick set date. So you can very quickly jump and adjust the date, which is also coming in handy if you jump over time zones and also the date changes. So this gives you quick access to change both to your new time and possibly to your new date. And if you pull out the crown to the second and final position, you have the time setting in both directions. The NH34 or 4R34 movement is a GMT movement that builds on the 35 and 36. It was introduced in 2022 as an addition to the NH35 and 36 who were already produced since 2011 and it shares most of the same specs that the 35 and 36 also have. Most notably, it is still an automatic movement with a bidirectional winding rotor which utilizes Seiko's magic lever system which is very very efficient, I really have to say that. The dimensions are the same with a diameter of 27.4 millimeters. The movement has 24 joules, which is essentially the same count as with the NH35 and 36. There is a little bit of debate whether the NH35 and 36 have 23 or 24 joules. Both movements operate at 21,600 vibrations per hour, so the same here. The lift angle is the same, although there's also a debate if that changed with an update on the 35 and 36 series. And the power reserve for the NH34 is given with 41 hours. And essentially it has to work with the same architecture that is there since 2011, so you can't really make big jumps with this movement. But it is interesting that it seems to be an hour better than the NH35 and 36. The NH34 also features hand winding, which is a great update after the previous 7S series, which is just so much more convenient. And the movement also has hacking, so if you pull out the crown, the second hand stops, which makes it very easy to adjust the time very precisely. And it also makes it very convenient to check the performance of your NH34, 35 or 36 against a digital clock, which is always fun. When the NH34 was introduced, it was basically regarded as a game changer because it was, I think, the first time that the GMT complication was realized in a movement that was this inexpensive and opened up an entire category of low-budget watches for the GMT complication. And it proved to be a very capable movement within the last couple of years. I hope that you know a little bit more about the NH34 now, and if you need more information on the base movement, the NH35 and 36, you can click on this video here. If you want to see how you can build your own watch with the NH34, you can click on this video here. Have a good time, and I hope to see you in the next video again.